Hey, it's Holly from the Inspired Home, and I wanted to show you how to make a really simple fall planter. If you're anything like me, I go to the grocery store and I see the $30 planters, and I'm very tempted because I'm very busy and I don't always have time to do this, but it could be more simple. In fall plants especially, it's really important to get enough moisture. One of the ways I do that is I use the Little Movers Plus uh, from Huggies, and these are the most absorbent diaper they make. So what you do is you can just take two, if you like, you can cut off the tabs, I don't usually, and you put them in the bottom of your planter. It's gonna save you money because it'll keep your plants moist and keep them alive, and then it'll also be less dirt that you have to put in your container, which is good as well. When you're looking to make your fall planter, here's the main tips when you're looking for plants. Look for four to five plants. You want them to be varied in height as well as variety. I'm gonna show you one that we've made as well in this container, and you can see the different kinds that you're looking at. The plants themselves, you're looking for something that's gonna survive a cold snap. You're looking for a chrysanthemum, a winter kale, uh, all of these things, ornamental grasses, all of these things will survive if they get a little of uh, frost. Um, in fact, some of them really like it. The other thing you want to think about is the color of your front area that where you're going to put your planter, if that's where it's going to go. If you're going to put it against a very neutral background, you could probably pick very vivid flowers. Um, however, if you're going to put it against your house and it's yellow, don't pick all yellow flowers. It'll just cause your planter to fade away. 